Hello everybody, it's Joe again with another quick one-take video blog tip about 3D printing and modeling for 3D printing. Uh, family's in the background, so it's going to be fun to do this. I want to talk today about decimating your blog. Decimating is a way of, of reducing the number of polygons and points. And hey, everybody say hello to Freddy. That's my son. So, here's the reason... Uh, why you might want to decimate something. Let's say you download a model. Let's say, well, you know what? Never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, have you downloaded Blender yet? You should. It's free. It's easy to use. It does everything that you need. It does these little cleanup tricks, so you don't really need to know, like, what you're doing. You don't need to know modeling. Yes, it's an animation program, but I've never met a program that does as much as Blender does, and it's really simple. All you have to do is go to blender.org, Click on the little download link right there and download the latest version. And chances are when you watch this and when you download this, you're going to be using a newer version of Blender than I'm using. In fact, look at that. I'm already behind. I need to update my Blender. But it doesn't matter because these techniques have been the same in Blender for a while and they're going to continue to be in Blender. It's, it's good and it's going to stay good. So let's say you download a model online and it's just got too many polygons. It's something like this. I, I made this little Halloween tree and cracked it out and put lots of polygons in it so it'd be nice and smooth and pretty. And in fact, since it's Halloween, I decided I would put a nice little Halloween face on there. But this, and, and as smooth and pretty as this is, depending on the size that you're going to scale it, all of this smoothness isn't really necessary. And if it's too high resolution for you to slice, it'll slow down your slicer as it's trying to slice it. So maybe you want to uh, reduce the number of polygons, and that's what Decimate does. So I've, I showed you how to import the mesh. File, import the STL, go to where it is and import it. And I'm going, I'm going really fast in this. I'm not doing this for the purpose of, of necessarily teaching you how to do this, although you can follow along with the steps if you're paying attention. Uh, go to the the modifiers and add a modifier and choose decimate. Now there are different settings here and there are different things, but the important one is the ratio. Stay on collapse. There's unsubdivide. There's planar. Those try to be smart about it. I don't. They don't make nice watertight geometry. The collapse one keeps it watertight. And then you can click and slide on this one but it's a really really bad idea because it's slow i'm not even going to do it while i'm recording because it will kill the recording instead click on the number and type in a number and take your best guess if you can reduce it hi gabe how are you doing i'm good why don't you come in a little bit so everybody can see you no you, over there there you go say hi mm -hmm. this is my son gabe and i have 3d print stuff for him all the time but now that they've seen you, go away so I can finish this video. Well, I'll let you watch it afterwards. Okay, so I changed my ratio to 0.1. That is a technical decimate. Actually, no, that's an anti decimate. 0.9 would be a technical decimate. Who cares? I reduced it to 0.9. Did you notice a change in the mesh when I did that? Here, let me turn it off. No decimate. Give it a second. Decimate. There it is. Did you notice a change at the resolution that you're viewing this on the screen? You probably didn't. If I zoom in nice and tight here, see, now you can see a change pretty clearly. Decimate. No decimate. And it reduced the polygons from without decimate. I actually have to crank it up to 100% to see what that is. Oop, see, that's why we don't do it slowly. One, it's, it's a number between 0 and 1, and so 0 0.1 is 10% of that. 55,000 polygons to 5,000 polygons, and it kept the general shape of it. Now, this is a really low poly example, really, I mean, technically. Uh, your slicer will be able to handle this. You normally need this when you're in, like, the millions of polygons, and Decimate will do it. And then once you got it, you can just file, export the STL at the lower poly version. Let me show you let me show you an example where you need to experiment a little bit. Fun stuff doing this with the family. Maybe next time. So here's a here's a tree that I made. It's actually the same model but instead um, I just didn't use as many polygons to make it. I didn't smooth it as much. Watch what happens if I try and decimate this one. 
If I decimate this one to one tenth its total number of polygons, look at that. That is garbage. So you need to experiment sometimes. Sometimes uh, 0 0.45. 0 0.45 works like this. Maybe I'll take it down to 0.25. No, 0.25 isn't very good. Now there is a trick that you can do with the decimate modifier, and I don't go over this trick. I don't, in, in uh, 3D printing blueprints, I don't go over the decimate modifier until chapter, ooh, what is it? Seven, when we're modeling this really cute little teddy bear and you need to reduce the polygons on him because we're using sculpting and he's very high resolution. You don't, you know, for that sort of thing, it's really good to use decimate. But here's a trick that I didn't cover in the book for the decimate modifier. You can tell it that certain parts you don't want it to touch. So let's go into edit mode. And let's notice in edit mode, it's not decimated. It hasn't reduced the polygons. It doesn't do that until you exit. I'm going to just select the polygons for the face here. And I'm going to say that I don't want these polygons to be decimated. So, selecting more at a different angle. I'm not doing this in, uh, in uh, wireframe view. I suppose I could. I suppose it wouldn't be a big deal if I did. Uh, I just have to be, whoops, ah, wrong button. Okay, and then here's a quick trick. If you hit control plus, you select more, and if you hit control minus, you select less. That will clean up all the onesies, twosies in the middle that you've forgotten. That way that's nice. Okay, so let's say that I don't want this part to be decimated. Coming over here, add a vertex group. You can name this vertex group face. my kids and then assign those points to that vertex group then when you come out here to the decimate modifier you can tell it oh wait a second I did that backwards so let's go back into edit mode hit control I to select everything else but the face go back into here uh, let's create a new group and call it not face and we'll assign these points to that one and then we'll go to the decimate modifier and we'll assign not face and now it's only doing decimate now look it's doing way too much decimate so we got to reduce that to 0.5 still too much 0.75 keep in mind that since it can't touch the ones in the face it's just trying to do math with the rest of it, and it's it's failing. It can't do it. 0.75. There we go. So it's reduced the polygons and everything but the face, and that's good. Let's see if 0.65 works. 0.65 works. So there we go. So you can play with it. You can preserve a portion of it and say, don't decimate. Decimate everything else. That way, if you've got something that you absolutely want to keep the detail on. Faces are usually that. Now keep in mind, if you're printing at a low resolution, if you're printing it very small, you still could probably reduce some of the polygons there. So maybe decimate the whole thing by a little bit. Then apply that modifier. Then re-decimate it again with just the part that you want to be further lower poly and lower resolution. So there we go. That's the trick for today. Decimate to reduce the polygons to make it possible to print things. I am going to refer to this one in a later tip. So just remember this one. And again, if you haven't got Blender, get Blender. And if you really want, I, I did this really fast, but if you want a step-by-step, -step, if you want something where you can sit down and follow the steps, that's, that's what 3D Brute printing blueprints is it's one step two step you have it next to your computer and you follow along as you go so you know check it out you can get it on your e-reader and have your e-reader there and just one step at a time i'll tell you a little secret you really don't need more than the first one or two chapters of this book and then you'll be off i won contests with the first one or two chapters of this book so anyways i hope you'll check it out but i hope that this tip helped you guys and i will see you next time thanks for very much for watching